Stan Hugel's activity follows the seasons. He travels widely during the summer and in the autumn he paints. But not for him romanticized depictions of tall ships in the sunset, but paintings of the men at work and in song. Using one of these paintings as an example, he gives us the following description. Uh, the fin of law and uh what do you say in Dutch? The Bowen Marseille? Bowen Marseille? Bowen Marseille? Oh, yeah. Well, the upper top, so he's <laughs> taken in. And now the captain has decided that the sting has got out of the storm. The, the, the storm is easing, and we must set the sail again, because they didn't waste a minute. Why do you make speed? So this fellow is on the Bowen Marseille. <laughs> Mars Fowl. And uh, they started to sing. It would work out something like this. Oh, this is the mate, the steerman. He's in charge. Uh, that is possibly the second mate in the bosun, and that'll be the shandy man on the forehand, as they call it, right in the front. Uh, he starts a solo line. <coughs> Say, boys, you never down the Congo River in all hands pull. Blow. Come on, come on. <laughs> My chorus is a bit weak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I've been down the Congo River. Blow me, boy, boy, blow. Oh, Congo, she's a mighty river. Low boys, low oh, where the fever makes the white man shiver. Low me, play by low. Well, these awful noises I keep on making. Uh, a sailor, a shanty man, has to know when to break his voice. He didn't break his voice because he couldn't sing or he couldn't manage it on a top note. It was done on purpose. Say, English sailors call it a hitch. I don't know whether what the name was in Dutch, but German sailors call it Kunuraham, which in black Dutch means a, a cockle with a sore throat. Horrible row. And uh, the Germans were quite good at it. The Scandinavians, the best people possibly, were the black man. Uh, we were a bit anemic, the white, the English people, a bit anemic. And I'm afraid in the folk some clubs, they have not got round to this important factor when you sing a shanty of using these awful noises. Before the sail was set, hello, how are you? <laughs> before the sail was set, uh, before you started to set the sail, the sail which had been made fast was probably full of ice, hailstones, wet. The boy would go up and loose the gasket, take the gasket off, shout out, all oh, fail off, I was clear, and hands down below to start now. The first thing they do wouldn't be a shanty. In sailing ships, it was the commonest tune of what they call a sing out. And this was a embryonic type of shanty. Uh, old sailors putting their sea boots on and go, Hooray! Couldn't do anything without they did this sing out. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and before they start the shanty, uh, the uh, shanty man will start off. Hello, you! Oh, 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 you! And this type of thing. <coughs> Without a rope, I can't do Somebody good. But that's the sort of thing. And if it's from these sing outs, which were used far more aboard of a sailing ship, oh, every day they were used, shanties were. Every time you went to a rope or anything, you, you made this horrible yelp or noise. And of course, they had sayings in between that. Long before May West, they used to say, oh, 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 come and see me. Oh, 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 stretch a bow. Oh, 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 fiddle stringing. And these words, they pull off, you see. And they say, these are dying out, unfortunately. They don't quite go well in folk clubs, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when they cleared, got the sail up a little bit and cleared, and the wind got into it and she bellied out, then they start the shanty. And the normal procedure would be uh, you sing the first, you sing the refrain, the shanty man, to give the crew the idea. It would blow the man down, he'd sing, hey, 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 blow the man down. And they knew they were going to sing, blow the man down. 
and then they go right through the shank until the job is finished. Effortlessly, Stan Hugel fascinates his audience for two times 45 minutes. With a great sense of humour, he takes his audience back to the glory days of the full-rigged ships. And as he closes his performance with another rendering of Leave Her, Johnny Leave Her, everyone in the audience knows that they have been privileged to witness something special and unforgettable. With a warm round of applause, Vorkum says farewell to Stan Hugel, the last shanty man. He's got the jib sheet too slack. Let's go down the wind. Oh, a little more. Mind your head, mate. A little more down the wind. Down to Lewin. Lewin. It's getting misty out there, isn't it? We know it's getting misty. Yeah. The fog's coming. Ah. Oh, you're too, too close to the wind. You're too high. Look at okay, it. Yeah, too high. Too high. Okay. Too high. Ready? You're going across the wind. Yeah, yeah. across the wind. Yeah. Pushing, yeah. 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 pushing on the tiller, so you're going too high. That's the lee board. That's the weather. Get in the Got a gold net. Got a gold this one. It's coming over. Coming over. Coming over. Down the helm. <laughs> when you have the lee board there. Yeah, that lee board. Now. Oh uh -huh.